What's going on guys, it's Javi aka Javier Fitness. I am back after two months of not uploading another video. I've been super busy, I just got my job again at LA Fitness two months ago. So after I started working, that's all I've been focusing on and yeah, I took time off. Yeah, with that being said, this video is going to be about the top three reasons why I lost weight, um, what I went through, why I decided to switch them around right away and yeah, um, that's going to be the topic of this video. But first, right now I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna drink some of my BCAs during my workout, um, just to keep me like fueled up for the whole workout. Cause I've been going hard every day. Um, so I usually hit Mondays chest. On um, Tuesdays I hit back bice. No, I did. I hit shoulders and back. Wednesdays I do legs. Thursdays I do arms, which today is Thursday, so it's gonna be an arm day. Uh, I'm excited for that. I don't know. Uh, Fridays I usually hit shoulders, and Saturdays I hit legs. So I hit shoulders and legs two times a week and every other muscle group I hit them once because um, those are the two party parts I actually lack on the most. So I need to develop them. Yeah, so I gotta work on that. And yeah guys, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna start heading over to the gym. Oh, also I fixed my car up, so finally I fixed my car. Uh, anyways, with that being said, um, let's head over to the gym and I'll see you guys when I get there. As you can see, they fixed it. Uh, they zoomed it back then, put repaint it. I don't know what the hell they did, but the important thing is that they actually fixed it. So I'm just starting off the car right now. I'm waiting there for it to like heat up. Uh, yeah, guys, I miss grabbing the camera and actually talking to you guys. The other thing is that my channel finally hit 3,000 subscribers or over. We're like at 3.3K. Um, I'm really excited because uh, the channel just keeps growing and growing. Um, my transformation video is almost at half a million views, which is also, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I didn't expect it to get that much views since I even uploaded. I remember uploading that video and I only got like 10 views. The week later, I only got like 100. It was two weeks later, it got another 100. And now it's a year later, a year and something months. It feels pretty good that a lot of people saw the transformation and it actually inspired them. Um, for those who follow me on Instagram and has been grinding with me since day one, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Even the new people that start following me recently, appreciate you guys as well. You're the, you're the ones that keep me humbled and motivated um, to do what I do. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm, we're gonna go work out. I'm gonna go work out and then after I hit arms, I'm gonna come back and talk about the three things I told you about earlier. So I'll see you guys right now. Finally, after a while, we haven't talked to each other. I decided to change my YouTube name to Javier Munoz, my name. Uh, the channel is gonna be about fitness, about challenges, vlogging, um, etc. I'm gonna make this uh, channel like a 
all the all topic type of thing so let's get right into the topic the top three reasons why i decided to change my life around reason number one um was because i was pre-diabetic i went to the doctors i went in he waited me i waited three or five and then they did all this blood tests and stuff i went in the next week or two weeks after that and he told me the bad news which was me being pre-diabetic about to get type one which is permanent um yeah so i was 17 at the time and that made me want to flip everything around the lifestyle my eating habits etc staying home almost six to eight hours playing video games and i wanted to change all that around asap um so i signed up to the gym um i started going almost every day and you know the gym i i went in somewhat and there's a park next to my house so like i told you guys i will always go run every damn day i will not be at home I'll be either playing basketball or running around the, the park, which is the main thing I would be doing almost every day instead of playing video games at home. Um, so that's reason number one. Um, and diabetes does run in my family, so I was at high risk. And I mean, I was up there, so thankfully I reversed that and I'm not pre-diabetic or no signs of diabetes, so that's a good thing. Um, the second thing is because I was in depression for like six to eight years um, since like middle school. Uh, I didn't tell no one about it. I will always, I'm a quiet dude. I mean, not no more. I changed that around too. But back then, I was really quiet. Um, I just kept it in my bubble. I was just stayed inside my bubble. Uh, I would come home, eat, just play video games. And then um, depression really got to me that I started eating more and more and more. That in high school, I waited at my heaviest, which was freshman year. I waited around. 240, uh, 240 something. Sophomore year, I weighed around like 280 ish. And then junior year is when I weighed my heaviest was 305. Um, yeah, so depression really got to me. I would not really talk to anyone. Just whenever I felt down, I would just eat to make myself feel better at least. Um, so definitely wanted to change that. Um, nobody knew about that, not even my family did. Um, and so I lost all that weight. I told them I was going through. The third reason is because, of course, clothes, you know? Um, I was a 3x um, at 17, 3 extra large. It was tough finding my size. If I find a size, this type of material, I will never wear. Um, because when the air hits you, you know, all that wind hitting you, uh, it just sticks to you. I have my man boobs, my love handles, my back fat. When the wind would hit me, I didn't like the way everything would just get stuck. And people would just look at me. Um, at least that's what I thought and that's what I saw. Um, but people would look at me um waist my waist was at 48 almost a 50. um it was tough trying to find clothes that would fit me i'll go to jesse penny uh, ross marshall's and it was tough finding my size not only that but when i found my size i didn't like the way um the shorts were they were super baggy um my jeans were baggy as well from the bottom it was just like ugly and i would go to school like that um with jeans that are baggy um yeah so that was a, the third reason why um, just clothes was uh, difficult to find. Um, when I would go, I see some shirts are like medium or large. It wouldn't fit me. Um, now it's all different now. I actually go, I see a large or a medium, either or fits me. And I like the way it looks now, you know. Um, my waist, I'm at like a 36 right now. Um, 36, 38 because I'm bulking up so my waist does tend to get a little bit bigger. And I finally find my size so I don't have no problem with that. Every time I meet people on, in person, I tell them the things I went through and they tell me the things they, they go through right now. I tell them that if I did it, they could do it as well. You know, all of you guys know that. If, if someone else did it, why can't you? You just gotta put your effort, your time and dedication into it and you guys will reach your goal. You just gotta stay positive, you know. You might have some negativity in your life, um, some walls that come up out of nowhere. Oh, so this happened, this happened. Try to ignore it and work your way around because trust me, you will see the results you wanna see. Just give it time. A lot of people say, oh, I wanna see results in two to three months. Um, it depends. The first step is changing your diet. Follow a proper diet. Start making some smart, healthy food choices. Um, that's the beginning. Second is start being active. Um, if your goal is to tone up, tighten up and everything, start building muscle. Um, start eating properly. Make sure you get your protein, your carbs, and your fats in. Um, yeah, I'm also doing online coaching, so if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and DM me. I will help you guys out. Um, I've helped a lot of people out already. Yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you for those who are still here. 
Um, we're on the road to 4,000 subscribers. We're only like... Like I was saying, we're only like 800 subscribers away from hitting 4,000. I'm um, really excited for that. We keep going up and up. And like I said in the beginning, my videos are about to hit 500... 500,000 views, which is pretty good. Even though it's copyrighted since I hit 200,000 views, um, that sucks. And for those who haven't followed me on Instagram, my name on Instagram is Javier Fitness. It's right here. Um, make sure you follow me on there. I also have a Twitter, which is VJitsy. That's my old uh, YouTube name. A lot of people, get, a lot of you guys know me by, or some of you guys know me by. Um, it's VJitsy. My Snapchat is also VJitsy. Yeah, VJitsy. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below what kind of videos you guys want me to talk about, what kind of topics you want me to talk about. I'm really excited to be back in YouTube. Um, taking two months off is a lot of time off. Um, and I really miss talking to you guys, interacting with you guys, you watching my videos. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.